Australia has always been a south after destination for migrants, students, and workers. But in a shocking new move, the country is now cancelling visas and deporting individuals who fail to meet English language requirements. What does this mean for visa holders and those planning to migrate? Let's break it down. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about an important and urgent update coming out of Australia. If you or someone you know is living, working or studying in Australia, this video is for you. Australia has officially begun cancelling visas and deporting individuals who fail mandatory English language tests. Stick around as we break down the reasons behind this new rule, how it's a being enforced, and what you can do to stay protected. So, what is this new policy all about? Starting in 2025, Australia's Department of Home Affairs will require many visa holders to pass an official English language test as part of their visa renewal process. This includes both temporary and permanent residents. This policy is primarily aimed at work visa holders, permanent residency applicants, and some student visas. The goal is to ensure that those living and working in Australia have the necessary language skills to integrate into the community and succeed in the workplace. So, who is being targeted? This English proficiency requirement applies to a wide range of visa holders, but especially those in skilled worker categories, partner visas, and certain long-term temporary visas. Skilled worker visas, subclass 482186ETC. Partner visas, subclass 309820. Student visa, in some cases. Temporary residence visa, depending on the type. Applicants will be required to take an approval English language test, such as IELTS, PTE, or TOEFL. The score needed to pass will vary depending on the visa type, but in most cases, an intermediate level will be required. But why is Australia tightening its stance on English language proficiency? Official says the main reasons include improving job prospects for migrants, reducing reliance on language translation service, and boosting overall social cohesion. The government argues that better English skills will help migrants integrate more smoothly into Australia's society, improve into chances of finding employment, and reduce misunderstandings in essential services like healthcare and legal systems. So, what happens if someone fails the English test? The consequences can be severe. Visa holders who fail to meet the required score can have their visa cancelled and face deportation. This can be especially difficult for people who have already been living in Australia for years. If you fail the test, the government may give you a short grace period to improve your language skills. However, in many cases, Failure to meet the requirements after the given time will lead to deportation. Now, there are few exemptions to this rule. Not every visa holder is required to pass the English test and there are some exemptions. For example, individuals from certain countries where English is the primary language may be exempt, as well as older applicants who might find language learning challenging. Additionally, they may be waivers for humanitarian or medical reason. So, how can you protect yourself and avoid having your visa cancelled? First, if you are in a visa category that affected by this new rule, start preparing early. There are plenty of resources available, from online courses to in-person classes, and they can help you brush up on your English skills. Make sure to make a practice test to gauge where you stand before scheduling the final exams. Second, stay informed. Visa regulations can change frequently, so make sure you are aware of updates regarding English language requirements. And lastly, seek professional advice. 
immigration lawyers or visa consultants can help you understand your options and guide you through the process if you are worried about passing the test. This new policy is a sign of Australia's stricter immigration stance. In the future, we could see even more stringent requirements, especially for those looking to stay long term in the country. While this change might make it harder for some visa holders to stay, it is important to remember that the Australian government sees this as a way to boost integration and create more opportunities for skilled workers. What does this policy mean for current visa holders? If you're really living in Australia on a visa, this new requirement may impact your ability to renew or extend your stay. If your visa renewal is coming up soon, you will need to demonstrate your English proficiency. If you fail the test, there is a risk for your visa being cancelled, which could lead to deportation, even if you've been living in Australia for years. How is the Australian government enforcing this policy? The Department of Home Affairs is coordinating with other agencies to ensure all visa holders comply with the new rules. Authorities are using advanced tracking and data systems to monitor visa holders. You may be required to submit proof of your English proficiency as part of regular check-ins, especially when you're renewing your visa. The new English test policy has sparked controversy with critics arguing it could unfairly target migrants from non-English speaking countries and create additional stress for families living in Australia. Many advocacy groups are calling for the government to reconsider claiming that some migrants, particularly those in lower skilled jobs, might find it harder to meet the language requirements despite contributing to the economy. In response to backlash, the Australian government has defended the new policy start stating that the goal is not to exclude people but to ensure better integration into society. Officials have emphasized that they are providing ample time for visa holders to prove their English skills and pass the required test with options for language courses and support service available. So, what are some practical steps you can take to improve your English skills before taking the test? First, look for local language schools or community centers offering English class. Many offer flexible schedules to, com to accommodate work and family obligations. Online learning platforms and language apps like Duolingo, Babel, or Risotto Stone can also be useful practicing on the go. Re regular reading, watching English media, and speaking with native speakers can help boost your confidence. If you are worried that you might not pass the English test, or if your visa is at risk, seeking legal advice is crucial. Immigration lawyers and visa consult consultants can help you navigate the complexities of the system, appeal visa cancellations or request assumptions if you qualify. They can also assist in finding alternative pathways to remain in the country if your visa is under threat. At the end of the day, this policy shift represents a significant change in Australia's immigration landscape. For some, it will be an opportunity to improve and integrate more fully into Australian society. For others, this might create unexpected challenges and stress. The most important thing is to stay informed and take actions early. If you are living in Australia or planning to migrate, be proactive in understanding how these new rules affect you and don't hesitate to seek help if needed. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more updates on visa regulations, travel tips and immigration news. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions about the English test requirements on how these new rules impact you and your loved ones.